God says when we feed the hungry, when we clothe the naked, when we break people free, then we are healed. When we go to the jails, when we open up this home to anybody that needs a place to come in and be accepted for who they are today, then we are healed because then we are encountering truly the face of Christ. We are the friendship room. I think the, the way I like to describe it best for so people to understand is that really we treat this as our home. You know, people are welcome to come into our home. We literally take them where they're at. A lot of times people give us a long story what they need and why and stuff. And I, sell, I just stop and I say, are you hungry? If you're hungry, we got food for you. We offer it to them. January of 2014, after morning mass, I felt a strong calling to do something about the severe weather that was about to hit Steubenville. So we temporarily opened up a warming center, which we thought would be about two weeks. And as the winter progressed, the weather continued to be very bad. A very unexpected thing happened where we just fell in love with the guests that were coming in. And in the meantime, we were meeting and seeing the desperation of so many people. So many people addicted to heroin, with so many people forced to work in prostitution to pay for their heroin addiction without any real concrete solutions locally. So many people here in this town have lost hope, you know. In fact, I feel like there's kind of a blanket of hopelessness over the town. It's so beautiful to be able to reach out to the people who just literally have fallen through the cracks, fall through the cracks of the system, fall through the cracks of, you know, just employment or housing, um, and be there for them, and they realize that you're there for them and that you care. The whole ministry is built more on relationships than transactions. We don't just give things away, we try to build relationships with people to really try to get to the root causes of where they're at. We do that, basically built the whole ministry on Matthew 25, where our Lord is telling us and commanding us to love, to shelter, to clothe people, visit the imprisoned, to visit the sick. To bury the dead. He didn't ask us to psychoanalyze them. He didn't ask us to try to figure out why they were in the position. He asked us to meet the need and to love. With that love, a chance for hope enters their lives because somebody actually cares. Many of these people literally have nobody. We literally are like a breath of fresh air and love in a lot of these people's lives. We don't need to go to a foreign country to do that. We don't need to go any place other than as Mother Teresa said, to find our own Calcutta and to realize that really every community has their own Calcutta because it's really who we all are. It's not on our merit that those things haven't happened to us. That that could be us. That could be any one of us. But we have a chance to comfort Christ when we comfort one another and to show gratitude and thankfulness and how simple it really is just to love people and just to smile at them, to offer them food, to offer them friendship, to offer them a place to lie their head. We have been blessed with working with over 30 local churches of all denominations and many of their ministers come down here and help us with the guests. Their denominations or churches bring us meals weekly, monthly. They support us financially to help pay the utilities of the building bringing us water every day, fruit every day. It's been the community outreaching to do this for us. They're damn good people, I tell you that. I come here, I get my clothes washed, I get uh, all the food I want to eat, I, or whatever I need. Somebody asked me, like, well, why do you do it? And uh, I have a real simple answer now. Because I can. Because I can love. God's given me this capacity to love. What else would I want to do but, but love? What's going on here tonight? 
<laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> Somebody picks up a guitar and they start strumming it. Somebody else picks up a fiddle and they start whatever they do with a fiddle. And then they start, somebody brings a drum and they start banging on it. They decide to get together and play on one song on it. Let's make some music. Why? Why? To have fun, to live, to, to show life to the community down here. Um, actually, I think life is the big thing. It's not desperation. It's enjoying of life. It's beauty. Beauty in sound and beauty in friendship. How does that fit in with your mission? At, uh, I don't French, know. Friendship room. <laughs> bring hope to people who have lost hope, to the hopeless of this city. That's the truth. And uh, there's so many different ways to do it, but you have to be willing to, to reach out and try. And this is a very beautiful way to do it. And it's amazing. You never know what's going to affect who and what when you're reaching there. You think you do something great and it helps them, but sometimes you do something simple and it blows them away. So, uh, yeah. It's about hope. There's a lot of hope in this town. That's the straight up truth. And uh, love is the best way to give people hope.